I want to say thank you for uh, the the organization organization team because I wanted to be part of it at, at the beginning because I'm part of uh, Francilien.net in Paris and I didn't manage to find the right time so big thanks to you guys uh, yeah and today I'm going to talk about why you know hosts and the, the internet cubes it's uh, sounds like a, a band name to me uh, I like the, the title like this um, disclaimer I'm not one of the core developer of why you know hosts um, I developed some of the apps especially the one concerning the internet cube project um, I know a little bit about what's happening in the back but if you have very technical question I saw some of the guys running around um, yeah so why you know host is a self hosting um, tools for you to to host your own services so I'm gonna start start about talking about the why of why you know host uh, you probably know about the GAFAM and everything I mean about this talk I mean I feel like I'm a, a it's very different from the previous talks uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go fast and present this project that I like um, it's to me something that is important towards the uh, how to make internet decentralized again um, and and so this is this is the why so I took most of the slides here from a previous talk from uh, uh, Alex uh, one of one of the main contributors of, of Wayne host so please Alex if you see me don't 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 be too mad I know you like sharing um, so this is his uh, strategy or the, the strategy of the people from why you know host to, to change the world uh, sorry this is in French but the strategy to save the world um, so you you here uh, you're part of the a little part of the internet um, and there are many services uh, online that are mostly uh, you have to pay for and when you don't have to pay for you know what they do with your data uh, and the strategy here is to change this concept and push it back to to you to you to, to the user of the internet um, so that the internet is yours again um, so this is you and you little why you no know host instance I'm going to talk about what, what is it uh, in more details and so you can have for instance a machine that you don't use anymore a machine a, a computer tower that you don't use anymore uh, you could have other um, other machines you, I'm gonna talk later about the different infrastructures you can use um, different hardware sorry um, and you have on this machine a list of apps you like so for instance you're gonna install a WordPress to have your personal blog uh, you can install a series of, of different applications for chats for file sharing for video and and the goal of why you know host is to make all of this easy um, once you have installed your own app for yourself and maybe for your friends then you can imagine that other people like me like you are going to do the same and the third part to save the world is for ev most of the people to have this uh, self-hosted solutions uh, sets of applications and completely kill the existing uh, services all right um, who here has already tried to self-host <laughs> that's a big win today so you will probably be familiar with this picture um, so the why no host first started so postfix is a, is a solution to 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 send emails <laughs> And uh, the, the, at the beginning of why uh, people wanted to, to configure their, their mail server, but it was such a pain. Um, so again, who here has had pain configuring postfix? Maybe a bit less. Huh? Uh, some people got discouraged. Um, and so the, the first goal of why no host at the beginning was to, to, sell this, to solve this issue of uh, hosting your own emails. Um, and then it extended to other applications. So how does it look like? Um, it has 
two different interfaces, uh, uh, a user part and an admin part. As the admin, you can uh, install your, uh, select the list of apps you want to install on your server. And on the user part, you use the apps that are available on your server. Um, on the admin part, it looks like this. So I can I can make a demo of, uh, at the end if you if you want to have a shot uh, if you want to have a, a look of a feel of how it looks like how it feels um, if you want you can also go now to uh, demo dot uh, it's an instance with default password so you can just play around and destroy it uh, and so you here as an admin you can. Uh, list and add managed users. Uh, you can have multiple domains. Um, of course, your applications. Here you see that you can update your system just by clicking a button. Um, yeah, and a list of uh, service services, monitoring, diagnostics, everything you, you need for self-hosting. And, and of course, you can also do this in the command line if you prefer. So it's, it, it provides both interface, interfaces. Um, so why you know host runs on on Debian uh, it's a superset of Debian it's mainly written in bash and Python uh, so if you're a developer as well you can easily those are I mean mostly for Python not really for bash but it's, uh, those are easy to access uh, uh, code languages um, yeah and and it runs on on several type of infra uh, of architecture so you can they, they provide uh, already existing binaries for um, regular tower you can also run it on the Raspberry Pi that was your your question before um, and I'm interested in in those two here which I'm going to talk about later uh, those are ARM uh, boards, electronic boards, uh, which consume not much. They don't have a fan, so they don't make any noise. It's good to have it on your on your living room. Um, and here are the the list of the features. I, I just copy pasted from the their main website. Website. Um, any questions so far? Yes. If if this deals okay with uh, configuring it, okay, it has a web in interface, it has a command line tool, but the configuration is in files. Yes. Um, and so, for example, webmin is not very friendly touching the the config files, yeah, yeah. and Debian doesn't recommend it yeah. to put in your server. How deals with the existing layer below uh, the the goal for Wine host I mean the, the targeted users are users that are not gonna touch those files in, in, in the beginning. So of course you can customize everything but um, if you know how to do this and if you're uh, keen on, on trying uh, modifying stuff on your production server then then maybe Wine host is not for you. That's one first part. Um, second what is recommended, or what I, I would personally recommend, I don't want to talk in, in their names, uh, is that it's better to, if you, if you want to adapt something, better contribute to, to the app that corresponds to this. So if you, if you want to customize uh, your configuration, maybe uh, you should better spend some time um, writing those modifications to the, to the app that, that concern the application you want to modify. Is that a valid answer, or because because I mean, of course, if you want to modify a, a config file, it, it's really dependent um, on the service you're modifying, right? Okay, but but sometimes there's like a recommendation way or suggestion way that doesn't touch anything, but suggests you how you know could configure it, and then I also can help contribute, you know, host. I mean. For example, know. Postfix. Yep. ETC, Postfix, well, main CF. I enter there and I have my configuration file and I want to know what Juno does. 
Ah, is, what, why no host? Do you want to extract the configuration that was made? I would like to compare and also to say, hey, you know, did this in a wrong way or because now you, you, Yeah, yeah, those files are, are kept like this. So if you want to have a look at them and, and compare them, this is totally okay. If you start modifying them, then I don't really know what's going to happen uh, afterwards. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Some, some of the config files, uh, so there is a concept of templates in config files. Uh, there are two types of templates you can use so that they integrate with the with Wynohost well. And if you modify the template, template then uh, when Wynohost rewrite this config file, it will uh, add, add your modifications. Um, that, that was a question that was actually raised when comparing another solution that is called Freedom Box, that is also famous, yep. Um, the main difference between Wynohost Host and Freedom Box is that uh, Freedom Box is, uh, is following the, the Debian concept and is attached to this, uh, to this rule, uh, I would say. And while Wynohost wants to move faster, um, so he, uh, Wynohost will move faster, he has a way bigger list of apps, um, but is less depending on, on the Debian concept of, of packages. Um, and so to come back to your question, um, it's... So when when you modify a package in Debian, if you if when you update it, for instance, and it wants to modify the configuration, it will ask you, do you want to modify the configuration? Uh, do you want to override the configuration? This is more or less what's happening with with Debian packages. Um, so you, yeah, you have to be careful when you modify by hand. Other and in one you know, host, it's better to use templates. Does that answer the question? Yeah. I thought it was written in Ansible. Sorry? I thought it was written in Ansible. What, why no host? Yeah. No. Maybe somebody can, can change this, but no. So, I know that the configuring uh, postfix is a pain, but in my case, like the, the most pain about mail servers is then to keep the spam lists clean to deal with the, the uh, with your IP that most of the time it's flagged as a home IP so you cannot send email, emails uh, and so on. These are problems that I do, this, this was the most difficult part for me and then there also were also problems that I could solve only with the very, very specialist um, knowledge. How, how does uh, you know, know you, why you know host handle that? I don't know the thing in detail, but I'm going to answer as much as I can. Uh, if, if you guys know more, you know, host than me, just, just go ahead. Um, so there are different levels. There is the, the, the first, your, the, the main configuration of the default settings of, of your server instance. Then there is the DNS configuration. And then the, how do you appear on, on public listing? Um, so the, the main configuration is done by one you know, host and is optimized for you to ha host yourself. Um, so so you can rely on this. Then the, the DNS system, uh, Wynohost also provides um, automatic uh, DNS. So th those are um, subdomains, so-called, and, and there is a it can be a communication between this uh, domain and, and your instance. And Wynohost also, if you have your your personal domain that you, that doesn't have this uh, uh, automatic uh, dynamic updating feature, um, then you can, Wynohost uh, gives you all the details on how to configure your DNS instance. So you will, for instance, uh, configure the SPF or D DKM uh, keys on, on your DNS, and that's proposed by Wynohost. I can show you later how this is done on the interface. Yeah, and you can basically copy paste this into your DNS configuration. Uh, then the last part is the the listing. So, if if you send spam on your computer, you're gonna uh, appear on those uh, black listing. Oh, oh, your IP has a bad reputation. So yeah, that's a good point. Um, it depends when you where you, where you host your machine. Do you have a dynamic IP? Is there is is the IP shared with others? So those those are 
question that why no host of course cannot answers uh, answer is it really depends on where do you host them and how do you get your IP uh, we'll see with the second part that we can solve this uh, using VPNs for instance yeah so dude why you no host <laughs> go for it um, then I'm going to continue over the, 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 the next part, which is about the Internet Cube. So this is the Internet Cube. Well, this is one picture that was taken by this guy here. Uh, so it changed a bit now. Uh, this, this was the previous version with the previous uh, uh, Lime 2 boards. Uh, the, the packaging now is different. They come with a metallic shape, and the antenna is a bit bigger. And now we're working with Francilien to build our own boxes made of uh, cardboard and screws. We have them. Next delivery is going to be our own boxes. Um, and the goal is to to put wine host on a selected set of hardware and and add a VPN on top of this. So wine host plus the hardware plus the VPN connection and gives us the internet we love. Um, so how how does that work? Um, so wine host of course gives you uh, a choice of of uh, hardware on which you can install wine host. Um, we decided uh, to use one um, so that we control and and better understand the the entire uh, stack. I'd say. Um, and uh, we choose, uh, when I say we, it's people before me. Uh, so I started working on this project uh, about three years ago now. Um, yeah, so it's, it's evolving. Um, and, and this board here is made by a company called Olimex. Um, you can also do it with a Raspberry Pi, but this would not be the official uh, uh, Labrick Internet. Labrick Internet is a, or in, sorry. Labrick Internet or the Internet Cube is uh, just name of the same project, and it has no. Uh, it it just belongs to everyone. It, it's not tied to any group, to to a particular group. So if you want to install your own uh, Internet Cube, you can. If you want to distribute Internet Cube in your community, you can. Just take it and use it. Um, so how how does it work? Uh, Wine hosts the hardware and the VPN. So what we do at Francilien is that we provide um, VPN. Just a quick refresh, but you all know what's a VPN, I suppose. Yes, no, yeah. Um, so that's a mean ISP here providing you the internet. You're here, for instance, and there is your mean ISP that can have a look at, at your data. And, and here, that's the nice ISP you like very much. Um, if you if you put a, a, a Raspberry Pi or sorry a Internet Cube here, um, and you want to do self-hosting, for instance, you'll have two issue. Um, all your data is going to pass by this ISP, and this uh, ISP might block uh, some of the configuration. So if you want to host your emails, for instance, some ISP will not respect the net neutrality and block some ports, um, and they can they will also um, that's what happens in France, I, I guess this, this is uh, mostly true in, in the rest of the world. Um, they will also give you a dynamic IP, uh, which is not good for self-hosting. For email, for instance, if you, if you change IP every time, uh, your reputation will depend on the, the, the people who previous, previously had your, your IP. Uh, um, and for, for other people to reach you, if you change address uh, frequently, you'll have to add a, a dynamic configuration so that you tell all your friends that you have a new address. Imagine doing this by phone. Um, and and uh, so the, the Internet Cube or the Brick Internet, what it's going to do is once you start it, it will, uh, it will start a VPN connection with your favorite uh, ISP or favorite uh, VPN provider. So that will, that will clean your, well, uh, that was a, yeah, you know VPN. It's going to clean your connection. Uh, this is Silid Bang. <laughs> Yeah, not famous in France, but uh, and it's going to also give you a fixed IP so that you can host yourself. Um, yeah, so mm, I don't know what that slide is still here. So yeah, the internet um, 
the brick internet or the internet cube hardware is three parts. Uh, well, four actually. Uh, you have this board, you have the Wi-Fi antenna connectors. If you use a, a Raspberry Pi, the latest one have the internal antenna. But again, that's not going to be a, a real internet cube. And then a micro SD card. And the fourth part is the, 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 the plug, the, sorry, the power supply. And then even a fifth part with the, the new box in cardboard that your favorite ISP just made. Um, so we choose this board over, uh, over Raspberry Pi because it had uh, more open hardware. Um, so the, you can go on their website and have the complete schematic. Of course, this little guy here is made by a Chinese company that doesn't want to, to give all the details, but that's uh, so it's the, the less bad solution, I'd say. Um, and yeah, we, we don't, there, there are part of this board we don't use, the GPIO pins are not used, uh, the, the um, HDMI is not used. Uh, this guy, we like it because it comes with a SATA port, so if you want to extend and plug a hard disk on it, it's, uh, it's better suited that, than USB. Uh, you have a little connector here for the, to, to power the, um, the disk and another connector to power the board itself. So this board can be moving. So if, if you want to carry it in your, in your bag with you, you can. Um, if you want to change from one place to another with this and use it as a pirate box, you can. Um, yeah, so it's, this board gave us more flexibility than the, the Raspberry Pi. Um, how much it costs? Um, yeah, it's in Euro. I don't know if, no? People talking in dollars. I don't know how to make the conversion. Um, yeah, it's more or less 75 euros uh, when you buy a group uh, from 10. That's the. Uh, at first, it was 10 euro cheaper because we had agreement with Olimex. Uh, and then we had issue with Olimex. So now we just go by the, the normal group order on their website. And, and so it's more or less 10 euro less per, per unit. Um, and then for the VPN, and well, it depends on your ISP or on your intent, uh, VPN provider. You depends. Uh, so those are the price in Francilien, for instance. It's, it's actually wrong. This is eight. I'm trying to pull it down. So this is a message for you. Um, yeah. How does it look like? So we've at, at Francilien.net, we've we've uh, we've started doing those Internet Cube about four years ago, I I believe, before I came. Um, so this is how it looks like in my in my living room. That's so the first orders we were making to have this really reduced price with the agreement with Olimex. We had to order like more than 20 at what at one time. So our customers were or customer our our, our good little friend uh, uh, were sometime waiting for more than a year to get their 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 cubes so now we, we reduce it at, at the group of, of 10 and now francilien is even buying the 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 boards before we have the orders because because we know it's recurrent um, we do about two install uh, big big orders like this well not so big but two orders per year more or less and we do install parties every month and then uh, specific install parties when when people need. Um, yeah, and to sum up, this is what the, the Brick Internet allows you to. It cleans your internet access with a VPN and then uh, allows you to self-host using the great why you know hosts. Uh, what it doesn't do, however, it doesn't give you anonymity. Uh, if you look for anonymity, of course, you need to go through Tor or, or service like this one. Um, you'll have your personal blog potentially behind the, the, this IP, and this IP is going to be fixed. So it's, it's, it's not made for anonymity. Um, although it can, because there's an application within Wino Host where you could host your own uh, VPN server on the machine, and when you're in a cafe, then you can use your VPN connection to your house, and you, ha you are anonymous for the coffee owner. Um, and it doesn't allow you to host the Nest Google. What I want to say here is that uh, some people, the first reflex when you install your Wino host uh, instance is to install all the apps. Ah! And then the, the thing crashes. Uh, and, and so it's even more true when you're using a, a small computer like this one. So you have to carefully select the apps you want. Um, yep. Yeah, sure. Somebody can use it 
up in France, I mean, you, you met for the VPN, etc., you mentioned some sort of membership fee. So, yeah, so that's, th those are the membership fee for the francilien.net uh, ISP, non-profit ISP, and francilien.net is, uh, main goal is to cover this, this region here. So our goal is, is not to extend to other country, better go for your, your local uh, non-profit ISPs or, or non-profit VPN providers, um, <laughs> local. I have to configure it for the ISP that will give me actually the VPN service. No? Yes, yes, exactly. And um, static IP. Yeah. So how how does it how does it work? Um, when you order a VPN uh, um, under one of the association that provides the uh, ordered group of, of those cubes, uh, they, they will give you a, a, a config file, so you can either go manually in the interface and configure thing one by one, or you can use a, a specially crafted config file that will, that will set up your entire uh, internet cube. So it's called a .cube file. It's, uh, we have a dedicated format for that. So you, you mentioned a, a freedom box. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with Sandstorm? I am not. I mean, I know the name, you know but the name. I don't know well, the you, details. You, you know that they disappeared, and uh, they've gone away. And But I, I actually still give them $5 a month for their hosted service. Mm. So I, I, I actively search out products like this, self-hosting things. And I've never bumped into this. So that's one thing I wanted to say. It's like, I hope you can get out there more. Um, the VPN, is it, do you have WireGuard? Uh, we don't have WireGuard. The application is uh, the Open VPN, Open VPN is actually used, but um, okay, I've heard that people are working on it. Okay, good. And uh, the security updates for the OS come from Debian. Okay. Have you considered just working on top of something like Armbian, which is supported on this board? Because I have like banana pies and and things yeah. Like that. yeah 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 so like op op Open Media Vault or something like that. Uh, lately, we run into multiple issues as Olimex uh, released new boards, and some of the boards, for instance, were not booting at all. Um, and we found that Armbian has more uh, up-to-date uh, adaptations for, for those ARM boards, embedded ARMs, than Debian has. So we recently migrated all our, our images on, on Armbian. So yeah. Because he has better support for for those boards, yeah, at, at at the driver level. Is there the list of applications? I, are they separated by like? Can people see? Oh, these are being actively maintained, mm -hmm. and these are not. Uh, there were recent changes. Uh, before, there was a, 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 a main, main official app list maintained by the, the, the core and then uh, um, a contributor's list. Now this is merged into one main list and, and each ha app has a level. So if, you, if people are interested, I can give a short demo on, or a short talk about how to integrate a new app. There are many helpers for, for people to, to add their new apps and, and there's a, a great uh, CI CD system so that when you push your modification, this is all hosted on GitHub. Uh, when you push your modification, then this is tested and uh, and you have a level uh, for for your app. So you you have this list then and you know which app is uh, at, at which level. Okay, is PeerTube or something like that one of the apps? I've That's a great question. It is. It is. Great. <laughs> I'm interested in the backup functionality. Is it possible to to use this platform to make a social backup? You know that you backup on other users of the same platform somehow. It is technically feasible. It's not implemented at the moment. So the what? I thought that uh, we were at the point where you have an application. Um, it's based on Borg. Yeah, the Borg You install the, bo the server, and then the Internet Cube you want to back up on the other one in as to install a client, and you have to 
perform a user the user has to send share the key that's what yeah so what we that's, were that's at the goal. as that's far as i know we, we're heading to and 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 it's it's still in development i tested the app like a two months ago and it, it's not ready to 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 be used however we're going to go for for borg for sure i mean it looks like promising borg 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 backup uh, borg backup yeah. okay okay uh distributed backups it's it's great um, cool and uh, yeah, oh, okay, there's differences, okay, okay. incremental. Oh, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> uh, cool. So you... <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Never without. <laughs> Borg, B-O-R-G. The B stands for blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. You cannot stop it. It's just going to happen. <laughs> Uh, and and so there are a few tutorials you can follow on Winehouse uh, forum for you to do it manually at the moment. Okay. Uh, it has been tested and it works. However, it's not implemented. I mean, to be to be fully used to me, I think it should be in the the core of the of the Winehost. It should not be a, a, an independent app. Mm, uh, yeah. And so you could. Come, come to your list of application, and you just have a button called backup, and maybe you put the the key or, or of your friends, uh, yeah. And it's also Borg also supports encrypted uh, backup, so you could potentially Makes a lot save of it sense. in in, yeah. in somebody's computer that you don't even trust. How many people are involved in the c the core platform work? That's a very good question. Um, so I, I would say there are five to six. Um, two core developer that spend most of their time on it. Um, and then there is a great community around the apps. Um, they recently created a group called SSH, uh, Support Self-Hosting, SSH. Uh, so if you want to donate to what you know host, you can, you'll basically donate to this organization, uh, SSH, and that, they'll, they'll go to the what you know host developers. Yeah. Just came to my mind uh, about next cloud that mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. this is one of the app. Yes, but itself tries to create uh, such an environment. No, with uh, apps. it is it is you can have emails in in next cloud and so on. Um, you are in contact with the people from next cloud. Uh, it's we we are not as far as I know. Um, to me, what you know host is a bit bigger than than next cloud. Um, and currently has more features than, than Nextcloud. So I usually w use myself Winehost and put Nextcloud inside. Uh, and I don't use the Nextcloud email services. I use the Winehost ones. Uh, there is uh, the XMPP, for instance, is already embedded in, inside uh, Winehost and it's not in Nextcloud. Um, but yeah, I mean, that would. That that's a good point. Um, there might be some convergence that could be made between the the, the two projects. So no more questions. Thank you very much, Kema. Thank you.